Here we go, back at the Overland Show and I'm, I'm bloody early. <laughs> it's Monday. <laughs> I'm going to be one of the first ones here. I just got bored. I couldn't be bothered sat round. And I couldn't, I had no one with me, I got no kids with me. I couldn't be bothered to go viewing, go looking around towns and stately homes. So I thought, do you know what, let's just get to the show and settle. So here we are. I know I'm coming, so I think I'm the only one here. Can't see any other photos, there's a couple of campers. We'll see. Alright, so we're in with the only ones. <laughs> Lovely nice cut grass. And we got the crap grass again, but lucky enough actually it's not as it's only a few inches. Not like that year where it was up to your bloody knees. But they have to keep this, they cut it um, for the horses. So, it's just finding out where I need to be, so I'm just going to park up for today and we'll ask Tom tomorrow. Wait until he comes out with his markers and stuff. I've got loads of spikes, I've just nicked all them so I can make my own stand up, so. Right. Get along. I guess I beat everyone to the Overland Show. <laughs> the only one here. It is Monday. A couple of guys have just pulled up. The dog's whimpering already. So, I'm going to be making up our stand. It'll be somewhere over here. I'm going to wait today. I'll mark it out tomorrow. But um, we'll pick out a good spot, I'm trying to get the levelest spot for us all. Um, but I just want to know which side Tom wants us. He's not here today. So, that's it. Time to chill out. Right. Another day, we're parked up at the Overland Show now. It's Tuesday, so we're nice and early. So what yesterday got all the everything's done as you saw when I come in. So everything's marked up. We even got bunting out, it's a bit wet out there. See we've got then you can see it very well on the count. But we got bunting all round. I'm gonna put the banner outside, I'm gonna put some uh, fairy lights along there as well. Um just make it look a bit more attractive at night <laughs> so we can all find where we are and as you can hear I thought bugger it let's get the washing on no one's here I'm still the first truck here there's just a couple of the workers so got the air out it's raining outside got me twin tub I keep showing people that these are amazing bits of kit they really are and the spin dryer on them is amazing 200 odd watts super lightweight I run it off that, and when that dies, I just plug it into the into my batteries and just put the inverter on. But yeah, it's something like about 220 volts spin, and the, for the washer, and I think it's only 100 and something, 180 for the spin dryer. Either way, it's, it's under 250 watts. So, but they're cracking. That lives in there. I just lives on there. I have like a false board. There's its pipe, when I'm full, when I drain it, just straight down the sink. Easy peasy. And then it just put the false floor back in and just slide it back in. And it just sits in there. As long as I'm over there on the other junk. <laughs> so yeah, once that's all finished, done that, I'll have a shower. While it's all out, it may as well. And we? And you're having a bath. Oh, you don't like that. You're having a bath. Bath time. No, is it bath time? She doesn't like baths, Dad. Don't tease me. <laughs> so yeah, it's just a chill out day. Get some jobs done. I've already gutted the truck, so I don't need to clean all that. That's a bonus, just sort of over up a bit. But yeah, just washing day. And I've got to get me, hopefully get me battery sorted soon. Because mine keep going. There's a, I've got two big batteries, and one of them, I reckon a cell's gone in one of them. Um, in the night, they, they cut off. Um, but I've still got power, and the, it's still saying I've got 95% power. Um, but then it just drops the temp on my, what do you call it, on all the monitors, it says it's 10 points and it volts. Um, nothing works. Well, lights were everywhere, just the fridge switches off. which is it. And then until the sun comes up, and then all of a sudden it comes back alive again, when it's getting some power coming in. So there's a dodgy selling one of the batteries I think I'll have to get them tested 
So, but lucky enough, I've got my new. Well, hopefully it goes well. We're testing it at the moment. I'll find out this weekend. We fit my great big 560 amp hour lithium. Um, well, I'll show you when we fit it. Bogstar. And they're, they're going to be at the show, actually. So, if there's any problems, I can go straight to them. <laughs> right, back to washing. Right, Tuesday. All set up with a new banner up. Change positions this year. I'm going to go in the middle. I'm going to put the awning up tomorrow, I think, when it's a bit nicer. So, need some better stakes. I need some like wooden stakes, I think. Because them metal bars bend and it crink, kinks it. But apart from that, looks good. Okay, here we go to fit in the new diesel heater. So we've just moved to the one. So, if you remember from my old video, I drilled a big hole because it's so thick. I ended up putting a metal pipe through. It's like a heat shield. And the exhaust goes through that. That one's for the air pipe. Um, and it just all bolts up underneath there. So the old one's out. Uh, the old one was an 8 kilowatt, it said. We've got the new 5 kilowatt. And uh, yeah, this one's got a longer lead. If you remember, I just connect mine to, I ain't got it here, to like a cigarette lighter. And it just plugs in above my bed. And then I switch it on. So put some diesel in. I haven't set it up or anything yet, so it's all got with the priming. So that's for the controls. So that's gonna go that way. I've just gotta put the pipes on. So you put the pipes in on the other side. In there, and you can just see and get a screwdriver in there to thing. But that's why I say, you know, these are just for emergency backup. Not for full time use, it's up to your own, but I wouldn't use these as a full time in a van unless it's really ventilated. Like I said, this is just to heat this garage up, so but that sits right up. The reason we did that is because it just sits up more into the thing, and then uh, you know, the pipe sits over that, so it gives it a little bit more seal, but not much. But I've got a uh, carbon oxide, I've just removed it because I'm cleaning the walls, but. The old one never, never leaked, and we used to have it on quite, you know, once a month. I used to warm this place up, but I've carpeted it all now, which has really helped. Right, there's all my box of bits. Let's get setting up. Right, into position. So I've got cables wired up. Well, we're not wired up fully. There's a, that's going to go move probably above my bed, actually. There's the pipes back in. The only thing I can't work out is which is the exhaust pipe and which is the air pipe. I've looked in the instructions and it's the instructions are for the other type, the basic type. So I've done it the same as my old one. So hopefully we'll quickly fire it up when I get it all set up and we'll soon know which is exhaust and which is sucking in there. <laughs> so I've yeah, so like I say I've set it up exact same as it was. So it's going to go there, and I'm going to screw it to the floor, and then uh, we can start getting it primed. Just got to screw these up, but I'm going to leave them till last, just to make sure I don't have to swap them over. Right, so that was fairly straightforward. I had to read the instructions twice and read it. So it's pumping now, I'm on manual, so you hold the up and the down arrows together. I was just pressing one. And then it comes up with like oil, and it sort of speaks as well, this does. It talks to you. <laughs> So it tells you when there's a manual, you know, it was because I couldn't get it to start originally. So it's got to get the primed at the moment with it being brand new. So it's pumping, I can hear it. So that should change soon and then uh, ignite. So pretty straightforward, that's hopefully it does. I know it takes sometimes, it, it, you do have to do this a couple of times, I, I know on some, some of them, but. This one with it being built in might be quicker because it's shorter lines. Right, heater update. So I had issues with it. Um, I couldn't get it to start. I kept getting error codes. It just kept going to the final thing. And I was thinking, what the hell's going wrong? So I messaged um, Una at uh, Max Bean Rods, showed her a video. She sent me some other videos, instructions, and that didn't work. And I thought, oh, I'll leave it and I'll come back to it this morning. 
I thought I flooded it because there was fluid, um, there was fuel coming out of the exhaust pipe, just little drips. So I thought, well, it's obviously primed and it's obviously got too much fuel and it's soaked the glow plug. That's what my thought was. Anyway, I thought I'd try it this morning and I plugged it back in. Now I'm using a 12 volt sock, uh, cigarette lighter because I use my power bank and just, you know, so it's fully, totally separate unit. And I've been using this little plug in the car. Now, for some reason, what I found out now is that's not got a stable, it's not very stable power. And when I plugged it in, been using that, that's what I've been getting problems with, where it ignite. It's not getting the full power. I put it into the box and it struck up straight away. <laughs> um, but then it cut off the, the heater plug. Um got hot the tip got hot so it's obviously running a lot more powerful um i think on startup it got up to 140 watts but you know on the first bit and then it dropped right down so i got it running anyway so it's all fully running so what i'm gonna have to do is get it wired in properly um, into my system into the battery system so I'll wait until my mate Sparky comes and then uh, choose a, a good connection because he can have to control the things. And um, so yeah, that's it. So we've had it running. It smoked for, a, ooh, what, a minute? So that was burning off that excess stuff. And then uh, it was all right. And then the power sort of cut off because the, the plug end was getting too hot again. So that's the, that was all it was. It was just a voltage problem. Um, so yeah, and it's super quiet. I can't believe how quiet it was. A lot quieter than the old one. So yeah, once I get it wired in, I'll um, I'll do a full test because I've still got to learn how to do the um, the Wi-Fi bit. So it's all got to be put onto my phone yet. So I don't know how I'm going to film that because I've only got my phone to film on. So we'll sort something out that. I might borrow my lad's um, phone and then film uploading that. But yeah, this is like the dummies guide of how not to fit a heater <laughs> when you don't know what you're doing. But yeah, it was basically pretty simple really simple when i look back now it was just the two buttons hold them it primes it but if it wasn't for the case of my power supply was too weak um going through the 12 volt cigarette lighter there um because i plugged it in like i say i plugged it into the power box which is more of a, a stable because it's got the swine swine sine sine wave um uh, inverter built into it so it's more of a level power and it, it worked so yeah, it just needs a clean electrical feed and nice powerful. So, yeah, we'll come back to you when we get it running. 